What are the endocrine system glands? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain about what the endocrine system glands are and what you need to know as part of your level 3 anatomy and physiology exam. So in this video we're going to look at what the endocrine system glands are, a quick way to remember the glands and their location as well and I'm also going to give you three things that you need to know about the endocrine system glands to pass your level three anatomy and physiology exam. There's also an opportunity to test your knowledge and at the very end I'm going to invite you to learn everything you need to know about the endocrine glands in preparation for your exam. So let's get started on the content. What are endocrine system glands? So the endocrine system works with the nervous system and it maintains homeostasis, which means it wants to keep the same state. So if our body goes anything beyond the same steady state that we want in our body, then it needs to basically have a communication between the endocrine glands and the nervous system to make sure that we bring it back down to this normal same state. And that's what homeostasis means. And that's the job of the endocrine glands. The central nervous system receives information from afferent nerves and then creates this change that we need and sends out a response for the endocrine glands to secrete hormones. So the job of the endocrine glands are to secrete hormones and help maintain homeostasis. That's what they do. Um, the hormones themselves control key functions of our body. So let's have a look at the endocrine glands you need to know as part of your level three anatomy and physiology exam. There are many more than these seven that I'm going to teach you. However, for the level three anatomy, these are the ones you need to know. And because we need to know the rough location of these, we've arranged them in an acronym order to help you remember the order of them and the approximate location. So what you need to do is imagine a personal trainer and his last name is Papot. So P.T. Papot. And you can see this on screen at the moment. Um, the P at the beginning, we've got pituitary. So that's the first gland that we're going to look at. Then you've got thyroid. Next one down is parathyroid, then adrenal pancreas, ovaries, and testes. So they're the seven that you need to know about for your anatomy and physiology exam. And you need to know the rough locations like you can see here on the screen at the moment. And this acronym PT PAPOP will really help you with remembering the order, but also remembering which, which glands are actually endocrine glands that we have in our body. So you don't get confused with organs, like for example, the stomach or the kidneys. Instead of getting confused with organs, you know to just focus on the endocrine glands. So this little uh, acronym that you have, this PT PAPOT, what I recommend you do is at the beginning of your exam, you just doodle this down at the very beginning on some blank paper. And then when you get to an endocrine question, you can refer to your doodles on that blank paper and it will really help your memory. OK, so there are certain things that you do need to know about each of the endocrine glands. You need to know the name and location which is similar to what I've just gone through here, the hormones secreted and the role of each hormone. So these three things need to be explored in a good amount of detail so you can answer a series of questions on your anatomy and physiology exam. Usually at level three, there are 40 questions and you can expect there to be sort of between three and eight of those relating to the endocrine system and the glands. So you need to know these three things about each of those seven glands. So let's test your knowledge and what you know right now. So the question is, and actually what I'd like you to do is once I've read out the question, is to drop your answer in the comments below this video. So drop down your answer. It doesn't matter if you get it right um, or wrong. It doesn't matter. So drop down your answer and then I'll reveal the answer in just a second. So the question is, which endocrine system gland is located immediately above the kidneys? Is it A, stomach? Is it B, adrenal? Is it C, testes, or is it D, pituitary? So you've got four possible answers, which is the type of question that you will be asked in your multiple choice exam for your level three anatomy and physiology exam. Now, I'm going to give you the answer now. So if you need a little bit longer, feel free to pause the video. The answer is adrenal glands. So the adrenal glands are situated literally just above the kidneys. So on a picture, you can see the shape of the kidneys. And there's like a little triangle that sits just above that. And that's the adrenal gland. You know it can't be A for stomach because that's not an endocrine gland. And you know that the testes are right at the very bottom. 
and then you know that the pituitary is right up in the brain. So neither of those are immediately above the kidneys. It has to be B, adrenal glands. Fantastic. So if you want more mock questions, just like this one to help you prepare for your exam, then you can click the link that's with this video to download 48 level three anatomy and physiology mock questions. And you can also check our Facebook page at 10.30 a.m. every day for our daily mock questions. So go to Parallel Coaching on Facebook and you'll be able to grab those every morning. Mock questions, just like what we went through, are really great at showing you your strengths, your weaknesses and other areas that you need to learn. So what we generally find is that people rely on mock questions quite a lot and they don't necessarily help you learn the areas. So what I want to invite you to is to help you understand and learn everything you need to about the endocrine system. So do you know all of those three areas that I was mentioning a moment ago? Do you know the name and location? Do you know where those glands are and what they're responsible for? Do you know what hormones they secrete and the role of those hormones? If you don't know those, then it's important to learn them in a systematically structured way. So we've put everything together for you in our Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology Revision Mastery Bootcamp. And this will allow you to learn everything you need to for your Level 3 Anatomy exam, not just the endocrine system, everything. You can also learn anywhere, anytime. And the, the reason for this is that each of the modules that we have within the Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology, and there are eight of those, they are all in video format, but you can download those to MP4 and MP3. Now, MP3 is audio only, and this means you can download it to your phone and you can listen when you're walking the dog, driving, cleaning, whatever it might be, which maximizes the time that you can spend on your revision. Also, it will help you revise the whole Level 3 AMP content in under eight hours. There are also cheat sheets to help support you and lots of bonuses so that you can help understand the exam questions as well. And the main aim for this whole Revision Mastery Bootcamp is to pass your exam with confidence. So if you'd like to find out more and join us on our Revision Mastery Bootcamp, then I invite you to click the link that is with this video and you'll go straight to the page where you can find out everything of what's included and then sign up. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before I leave you, what I really love you to do is just to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. What I'd also love from you is a comment underneath this video, just to let me know what you learned during this video. What was the big thing that you're gonna take away from this video that maybe was that big light bulb moment? Maybe it was the PT PAPO acronym, maybe it's the things you need to know about the endocrine system all of those different points. Let me know what those are. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you've got a lot from this. Um, make sure that you download those mock questions using the link and also visit our Revision Mastery Bootcamp so you can learn everything for your Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.